Hello everyone, I am here for a layout that I'm going to be doing titled I Am Small and I'm going to start with telling you where my paper's from. I can get my card. Okay, my background page is from Simply, it's from Simply Delightful, My Mind's Eye, and it is this one right here. And then the piece, the piece that I have, let me turn it this way so you can kind of see. I have a, another pattern down the middle, and it's from this Can Company stack right here. But they don't even sell this that one in the stores anymore. So anyway, <clears throat> and let me tell you, my photo mats are. Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. My journaling is three and a half by two and a half. The I am small. This is exactly how it cuts out. You don't have to type an I and an M. Oops. What do I do with my this is my paper doll book? Oh, there it is. The new arrival is here in the back. Right here. So the I am small, this is how it cuts out, all is one. So when I give you sizes, the size of it, it's going to be 7.9 wide by 2.5 inches high because it's including all of it. And let's see here, my baby is from New Arrival as well. It is cut at uh, 4.07 wide by 7.68 inches high. And the piece that I have in the middle, this is going to be 3 and 3 quarters by 11. Okay, and this is how I want it to look once I get it all put together. So I will do that now. And this ribbon I ran out, so what I had to do is I had to cheat a little bit. And, which you're not going to see it anyway, I had, I wanted to overlap so I can adhere it on the back as well and so I had to cut this piece this one in half in which to do that but that is okay you're not gonna see it okay we move this out of the way and put this alrighty this paper is kind of hard to do it's quite thin Okay, and I want that. Okay, this is straight, and I want it to be right down the middle. There, come on. Uh oh. I tore it a little bit, but that's okay. It's not going to see it. Come on. Okay, get it. to put down put almost drop it put down the ribbon and I will use my ATG for that hopefully Put 
some on the very end because I want it to stick to the other side. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And I'm just going to lay that over where the two different patterns meet to kind of break them up. I'm going to go ahead and put glue on this one. There we go. And oh man, no it didn't. I just ran out of ATG. Okay. <laughs> Get a different piece of adhesive here. Oh boy. Let me see. Let me see if this will do. This is my glue dot runner. Never used it on ribbon, so we'll see. Flip it over and tape it or put it down on the back. The reason I wanted this on the back and not just cut off with the paper is because the ends fray on this particular ribbon because I used on this on another <coughs> excuse me layout. And man, I really want my ATG. I don't want to make you wait on me, so oh. And next I'm going to glue my title down. And glue small down first. down so I can kind of want to even close to my tile and that will 
probably work. So we want to dial in the photo net. All right. Oh no, cat. Oh no, you're not. Alrighty. And I'm not going to do the very top of the head because that's going to be touching the photo mat. And I don't want. And I want her to be able to get her pictures behind, behind it. Mm -hmm. this? Sometimes it does without a problem. I may have to hide that with the doll. Okay. So putting this down. Like so. <coughs> and then the journal. this way. Alright. And this is sorry. Okay, that will complete my layout and I thank you for watching.